You're watching Telecom TV from the Etsy Summit on 5G. And I'm joined now by Maria Pia Galant of Telecom Italia. Maria Pia, thank you for talking to us on Telecom TV. Do you think we should be identifying use case priorities to address the standardization required to meet the 2020 deadlines? Yes, actually 5G, as we see it, is uh, promising to address uh, several uh, use cases. Uh, most of them uh, have quite uh, opposing requirements. <laughs> and uh, you can imagine that uh, there is, uh, uh, from certain area, the need to push uh, some use cases uh, more than others. Uh, we uh, think basically that 5G should not just be dedicated to use cases that address uh, most uh, um, evolved uh, uh, mobile broadcast communication. So we think that 5G should look beyond those typical telco services and should address uh, simultaneously, if possible, also other uh, use cases that are not related to human communication but to, but to MTC communication to machine. And which use cases should these be? You, you could think of, uh, for example, enabling some uh, uh, smart uh, agricultural processes there where you can get some info from sensors that are out in the field and then you can regulate uh, some uh, irrigation plants uh, accordingly just to mention <laughs> a very simple example or you can even uh, think of applying this technology to uh, connected car to do into the automotive sector or even to health se sector when you may need to have some uh, um, technologies to give us uh, some uh, treatment to people that cannot move from their home because they may be aged people. And so all these uh, uh, services would need some capabilities that we are not ready to deploy with the current network. And so we do expect 5G to deliver uh, uh, a set of capabilities that would allow us to address all these use cases. So not just mobile uh, broadband, enhanced mobile broadband, but also what we call uh, low complexity, low cost uh, machine type communication, as well as ultra reliable and low latency uh, machine type communication. So that would be uh, a huge challenge for us as a telco industry in general because we would enter in new fields that we are not uh, uh, so far familiar of and we also sh will start collaborating with partners that uh, um, we are not uh, so familiar with yet. Are there new business models that operators must address then in 5G? Yes, we think that uh, uh, if we uh, want to uh, get new customers, we have to uh, shift from our traditional business model that is more B2C, business to consumer, and we should shift uh, to more business to business uh, business model that is uh, to open our networks, our platform to other uh, stakeholders and allow them to reuse our capabilities and to make a uh, uh, the best use of uh, our assets in order to have a, a possible a new set of services that uh, can be delivered to citizens and to consumers finally. Um, so we believe we have to change somehow the way we do business. Uh, we are not just targeting, as I said previously, um, consumer and human consumer, but we are targeting uh, offerings to our uh, to new industries, to new business partners. So that would be a change of skin for Telco. Now we hear about the concept of network slicing in 5G, but what does that really mean? If we want to address all these use cases, uh, some of them uh, which are not uh, traditional telco services, we have flexibility. We have to have uh, flexibility and we have to somehow uh, change uh, the way we build and we operate our network. And network slicing uh, allow us to set up multiple uh, logical network and to end networks that uh, would insist on the same common shared infrastructure, physical infrastructure. And those networks uh, have the peculiarity to be 
um, implemented, instantiated where and when it is needed uh, in a very easy way because they are software based basically. So uh, Nectoslizing is something that will be enabled by network function virtualization and that's the um, technology. So uh, with all these toolkits, we will have the sufficient programmability and control touch points that will allow us to build networks uh, according to the requirements that come from our uh, business partners. Rapier, thank you very much.